Two to go, this time by. Bontenure follows Kobe to the inside. Looks high, Silk starting to gain speed again. Kobe the race leader, but Justin Bontenure is there. Looks to the inside, midway down the back straightaway. Kobe throws the block, but it's Bontenure to the bottom. Yeah, Bontenure not deterred by that as all at all. Keeps the nose in there and is able to make the pass, but can he hold on to it as they come to the white flag? One lap to go here at the Magic Mile. Three champions out the front. Justin Bonsignor, Doug Kobe, and Ronnie Silk, nose to tail. Can Doug Kobe make a move to set up Justin Bonsignor on the back straightaway? Bonsignor protects the bottom. Kobe goes high. Here comes Silk to take him three wide into three. He can't do it. Yeah, he can't make that work, so he has to back out of it. Meanwhile, Bonsignor on defense. Here comes Kobe. They come together off the turn, down to the line. Bonsignor on the outside lane, beating and banging on each other, and it's Justin Bonsignor to win the Mohegan Sun 100 at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Wins are important, but this one is going to be memorable for Justin Bonsignor. The way he came back, the battle that he had with Doug Kobe, we'll look at it again. Kobe went to the outside lane when Bonsignor protected it. Silk had a good run. He went to the bottom. There just wasn't enough room for him to find a lane. He had to ease out of it in a veteran move. He could have wrecked them both. Here they came across the line. Bonsignor slid down, trying to protect the race lead and the race win and he was able to fend off the challenge and any momentum that Doug Kobe would have had to get the victory here today. They say you can't bump wheels in open wheel race cars. Well, he was nerf bar to nerf bar in a veteran-like move. And Justin Bonsignor here in the front straightaway saluting the fans and an outstanding finish to a race that saw a rain delay, very few cautions, but a battle among the best and the top in modified competition.